Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you just how easy it is to turn that scrolling marquee content block into a full width content block, meaning your text will scroll from one side of the page all the way to the other. Now there's a little bit of custom code required to make this magic happen and it is listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you exactly how it works because there are parts of this code that you're going to want to change. So here we are in my demo site and you'll see I have a scrolling marquee. Let's go ahead and go to full page preview here so you can see it actually gets a little cut off on the left hand side and right hand side and we want it to extend to the full width of the page. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down and we're going to work with this custom code to make that magic happen. What we're actually going to be doing is removing the padding and margin from the content wrapper for this specific section. And then after that, we're going to make sure the marquee is full width and we're going to hide any overflow on the page. I'm going to copy this code and I'll show you what each one of these elements do once we paste it into CSS. So I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now pasting this code here, this first part in bold is what we're going to need to change. We need to isolate just this data section right here. I have a free Chrome extension that I use to quickly grab that information. I'll link to it in the description below. But now that I have the data section ID, I'm going to paste that right there. And now we'll see the scrolling marquee go from one edge of the page all the way to the other. Let's select save and take a look at the full page preview. There we go. Now this code is removing the padding and margin from that content wrapper. If we get rid of that part of the code, you'll see it doesn't go all the way to the left hand side. It might be scrolling more than it was before because the width of it is still 100 view width or 100% of the width of the screen, but we need to remove that little bit of padding and margin from that content block to get it to go all the way across the page. Now this last part of the code says overflow X hidden. If we remove that, you'll see this actually gives us a little bit of space on the right hand side of our page and that doesn't look very good. So we've got to add page overflow X hidden to make sure we don't have that little bit of overlap there. So again, we're hiding the padding and margin for just the section that that scrolling marquee is in. We're making sure it's 100% of the view width for any screen size and we're getting rid of that horizontal overflow. Now, after you've added the code and updated it for your own data section ID, just make sure you select save and you'll be good to go. And there you have it. Pretty simple, right? Again, the code's listed in the description below, along with the link to that Chrome extension that I personally use, not affiliated with, just a fan. So you can grab those codes and try it on your own site. But let me know in the comments below, what else do you want to customize about this scrolling marquee? I'm looking for some creative ideas, so if there's something you want to change or a cool effect you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week. But most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.